Jazz. So, I guess we're going to discuss this first draft before we meet as a, as a whole committee to give our thoughts as to what the architect needs to change in addition so, to what was said so, at the okay. meeting. So, basically, I was glad we scheduled another meeting to meet outside the with the architect and and uh, the OPM. <clears throat> I've got cons after our last meeting, I got concerns of costs getting away from us already. Not, I'm not saying it's being done intentionally, but with all these entrances, access and egress becomes expensive, especially when they started talking about what we have to do um, to the site. To make it accessible, right? Um, moving our main entrance, town hall entrance, to where they have it. There's not enough parking there. Correct. There, plus, there's 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 things underground here, if I'm not mistaken, and it created another entrance, a public entrance. No, no, this entrance is already there, though. I I understand, but it has to be modified there, to become a. Well, any of these entrances have to be modified. That's right, to a degree, but adding an entrance here in the middle you don't need one there and there's this there by code you have to have a separate i think it's 200 feet by fire code or something like that between entrances. i don't know the exact footage sorry but but if, if you've got one here here you don't need enough another one here mm. or if you have one here and here you don't need this one as an official an official entrance yeah you can keep it just as an emergency exit for employees is that what your thought was? Yeah. So, yeah. And, and some of the talk about our original, our original thinking was, we we're going to have an entrance here and here. I don't think we need one here. If well, no, right. I think that the discussion from the last meeting was, if we're going to put the entrance back here back with here. the hallway, this entrance goes away. Okay. So now we've got one. So we have the seniors. Yep. This would here. be a senior center entrance. This would be if you have to just go to the town hall entrance. And I'm not sure if this was just like an emergency exit. I think they were thinking originally like an employee entrance or something like that though, over there. Because if we're, okay, we don't know anything about the parking yet, right? So are employees parking back here? Or they, I don't know where the employees, I don't, we haven't seen anything well, from there's the no parking on that. here. There's, this is all, this is all turf. No, that's, no, 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 that's, that's all the paved. back. This is all paved. You're, you're talking about this. No, no, right over here. here. I, I agree with Jim. There's only a roadway that goes yes. across the back. Yes. So this is like you said, turf, and then you the employees parking way over here with no access yeah, to the yeah, building. Up here in the back and over here on this side, or this side over here. Yeah. Right. This is West Street. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So then they have to walk all the way around the building. <coughs> I thought originally, if the employees were using that old ramp that's there, that has to be modified or whatever. The employees would park here. And the general public would park over here and right. come in the main yeah. there's right. probably enough parking for that so that they don't interfere with with the general public parking because this 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 roundabout was going to totally be changed I yeah. think eventually that's going to be taken out yeah, exactly it's taken out well that's the way that's what they're talking now with this going away and and that roundabout I don't think we want to get rid of it. I think we're going to want to modify this entrance for, for cost saving. Having this having this road still here, and you get a fire truck down here. How the heck are you getting it out? They like to they like to be able to, to turn them turn them around. Right, back I guess it out three hundred feet. Well, I guess then again, if we keep, I think it's I think it was designed that way in the first place. On that little area there was handicapped parking along that edge that used to be along the. The playground. Yes, and and that's that where his finger and thumb. Right, so that's not so that's not that far for somebody to walk into the what was the, the original entrance anyway, with whatever modifications had to be made to get up to standard. I wasn't sure if they were talking about the fact that whether the handicap accessibility, because when I was there after the other meeting, um, they said they had to get rid of all that and then they have to raise everything. I go, that's, that's a lot of soil, so and that's expensive. It's, it's expensive. It's not just it's it. it it triggers other, and then they'll tell you that the, oh well, we've got to we've got to put new stormwater uh, mm. systems in, and oh, what are you gonna? Oh, now we got to put a detention pond in. We're trying to minimize yeah. the cost of this and minimize what we right. what we're doing here to get these offices in place before our rent runs out. Mm. 
I just, and then, so I guess we're all in agreement. We make the, we go back to making this the main entrance. Yep. Yeah, that's what we said at the last meeting too. Everybody. Yeah, this that one just closes from the emergency exit, right? The other one. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then <clears throat> this, we never. This was as far as I, I remember and understood, this was going to be remained open. We may were we were going to uh, allow them allow the council on aging to use areas of it. But this was supposed to stay open for meetings, mm -hmm. right. for cafeteria use once mm -hmm. the caf once the kitchen is mm -hmm. right. is up, and, and you know, a couple of, like a, a like you say some partitions or dividers if you want to put something like sure. that. I, I'd like to see remain full size as well too because at some point if we have another emergency and we have to set up a shelter area, yeah, sure. They think that that cafeteria is going to be the prime sure. prime place. And you look at what we've got storage unit chair storage and prime real estate okay so so again just to say it on camera yes our intention was to always have this be shared space the architect was never told that so um we tell them that they go back they get rid of these walls the storage all the storage can go over here to the kitchenette staff kitchenette which we're gonna I suggest they don't do that with a copier setup. This is 400 square feet, so they can use some of the storage there. Isn't that what? I think you have kind of a little bit. We have a little and then move <clears throat> the kitchenette out. And keep in mind, some of the storage can go anywhere in here. Mm. It's all rolling storage. It's chairs. That well, you're I'm not really sure why we have so much storage. We have the chairs, then we have this other storage. What's this other storage for? It we know? didn't really say. It just said storage. Well, so we're just well they have medical the supply of... storage and they have tables and chair storage and um they wanted storage for their items that they give people donate and they give away for free because unfortunately people are stealing stuff okay so the way it's drawn mm -hmm. that would be up here in the in this 80 foot square foot storage right here right there's the food oh, or the food pantry That's the food that they store because they got clothing they store and they have food that they store. So that would be all there, food pantry with the storage. So I, I, I can't I guess, see why they can't use some of this. I, I guess I got to ask the question: This gymnasium that we're gonna that well, we've been talking, I'm bouncing around a little bit only because it's it, it all comes it's all tied to each other. We talked about using this as a voting area, mm -hmm. yep. but now we're gonna wall off a third of it. Yeah, we can't do that. I didn't Why think, would we do that? I thought there. The, I, I thought, thought there's already existing there's storage. There's already existing storage there. There's, there's a small closet, not this size. Not, not that size. Not this size. Okay, no. but I know there's existing storage. We're, I just don't know. Because there's what? existing storage. Well, this again, is that, that and is what right they wrote is equipped that's fitness, maybe yeah, future that's, okay. program. We don't have that program currently. Again, they were drafting this knowing what other senior centers do. So this does not have to come in. This is this is a potential. So, so that, I, I look at the space they're in right now. Mm -hmm. Granted, it's not adequate for what they want to do, mm. but I don't see all the I don't see all this storage sitting in the in the council on aging now. All this area, this area, that's a lot, right? This and it's yeah. not it's not just that they're taking up real estate. They're showing it all being built and and exactly walled yeah. off and walled off. Yeah, yeah. and actually. Uh, some of, some of the seniors expected it to be open as well. They didn't expect it to be blocked off as much as it is. Sorry, I got to put my glasses back. I mean, I'm certainly in favor of buying uh, movable partitions right. around mm -hmm. where you can so they can have privacy. Yeah. Yep. And then and then once they're in there, if they can uh, justify something down the road, right? Mm -hmm. Then then someone's gonna have to come up with the budget for it. Exactly. We don't have a budget for all these. We we talked about using this building as as existing as possible. Right. Yes. As, as existing conditions as possible. Especially with the amount of money we have. I just you know. I just think we can use more. You're making space. these notes. I just think we need to be on the same page the next time we sit down with. Mm -hmm. And that was the reason why I wanted to meet today. No, I think it's good. Without without them interjecting. Yeah. I don't think they're going to have any issue if we go back to them and say this was a little more than we anticipated because they don't have 
I mean, we haven't seen any money yet. We don't even know what the existing conditions of the building are. That should be coming this week, mm -hmm. he said. Then this weekend, the second draft of this, um, we're assuming we're going to be over budget looking at this plan. Yeah. Well, because of what they've done with the, with the, the, with the inside, cafeteria. With the, the, the repercussions of what it's going to have to happen outside logistically as well. Hmm. We don't want public parking down here. No, I don't think there's enough room. You want, should, that should be like the employee parking. Employee parking, and then all the public parking. There's plenty of public parking down here on, for normal for normal use. Yep. Right. Well, so and, and the, so so you want to totally can this middle when I, town hall entrance. Yes. And um, one keeper to gate. One, one entry. It makes it easier to, for security. Mm -hmm. You've got one entrance, not people access in all different places. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You t if you put in a fob or some sort of a system down the road, then you can track who's in the building. Mm. So security is huge to everybody. One of their I think I, I think part of this, with the way it's drafted, also is that when we met with each of the department heads, they all said they needed you know um, to be a little walled off from the public, <clears throat> mm -hmm. and that if like the senior center wanted to stay open at night, this part wasn't access. So I think they were trying to like just do two separate incidents, so this would be closed off, and this part would be open. But there's other ways to close right, off. I think we could put a, a doorway I think that's somewhere, about, like, right somewhere here. in the hallway here, right. just say, okay, no, no, nothing, nothing beyond here, because this is all, you know, because oh, there's okay. doors there now. That's I mean. the access to the bathrooms. That's why he was thinking he could Oh, the, whatever, yep, exactly, yes, so up yes. the hall, great, right, yeah. whatever. But there, it's easy to. And we've talked about being open one night. Yeah. Per, per week, per month, per two weeks or something. So right. all of the department heads, all the boards, and everybody can be there. Mm. So it makes it easier for the public to do right. one stop shopping for the for the town. Yeah. So this would be an emergency exit. This would be the main entrance for everybody, whether you go senior or, yeah, the municipal offices. We don't have to worry about making this accessible because it'll be closed off. Would this be an emergency exit? Well, it's the only two. The only two rooms have access to is these two. Right. So you would have to enter this room to get out there, or enter into this room to get out there, and that would be. It. And you can go up this way. Right. Or this way. Um, the only thing I would think of is this. Wait, which? Oh, clerks are here. This is the clerk. Okay, thank you. Um, because my thought is. Because you know she works all all different hours all the time, so she would have her own entrance. I figured that would be easy, but it doesn't matter. Well, because you have this one right. Right. Here. So yeah, that's fine. The only thing I would find out is like if it's uh, safe uh, with the fire exits if we block that off. Because, but there's only one way to answer is through the classrooms. I don't know if that would be considered a. Well, they they can figure out those details once we give them their marching orders. Right. But if we've got something going on in here. I, to me, no matter what direction you're going in, it's all it's all getting funneled through one. Right. So the only issue with this one hallway, design-wise, is when when and if this kitchen ever becomes a commercial kitchen, there'll be a draft. They say that goes back and forth, but that could we be need a draft. Well, people getting their food here and having gone to the cafeteria, and people having to enter to get into town hall. Well, well, not only that, but I also think there, there there's some sort of air exchange more than we anticipate if you close this off oh if you close it off right to where the way the way the way they had it right well but, they can double door they can come up with some kind of a i mean it's been like that for right right a long, long time right exactly for you guys for me um all right i can go back to the architect let him know this is all open yes maybe partitioned this is for shared use. Mm. Get rid of the entrance here. Entrance here. Only this is the only entrance, and the one over here because these would be easier to modify, right? Right. This is employee parking. This is public parking. Um. And I mean, we can suggest you move this storage to over here and move the kitchenette to over here where there's some privacy from the public when you want to 
an employee wants to eat or be alone during their lunch time, come out of the office and go over here rather than coming here and being interrupted by copiers and other printers. And then maybe we can reduce the size of that a little more and get some more room for the Board of Health, Board of Health or whatever. And well, 400 that square feet, it says 400 square feet, copiers and a kitchenette. Well, do you need that for the storage? Because this current storage for these two rooms, I mean, when you say, do they need their storage close by for chairs? Well, if they do, yeah, because you, you don't want the labor to be right. to be right moving it from right. here all the way over here. Right. Put it over here in a corner, and if you, if it's unsightly, get we'll get some uh, partitions, movable partitions, just to box them off. Box them off a little bit. Evens it up. <coughs> well, whether it goes here or here, what does it matter? Because this this is going to be common space. Oh, from here down, you're saying? Yeah, where, wherever the, the T mark is. <coughs> what is this right here? A door? No, there's nothing there I at the yeah. wall. No, why I think, I think, no, I think they're, they're, they put a door? They're putting a door, so that has its own entrance. That's that. Oh. You go from the games into the hallway. Yeah. Yeah. Other, no. Otherwise, how would you get it? Well, I guess you can get in there. Either way, they're building all these walls. Right. right. Well, yeah, I wasn't sure if these were walls or partitions. Like. No, those are walls. Those are walls, just like, like the rest of it is. Okay. And again, for if there's larger select board meetings or mm. um, emergency management issues that we have to open a shelter, we need that area. Makes perfect sense. Well, I would think that larger select board meetings to go into the meeting rooms, which will open up to 800 square feet. Yeah, because this is supposed to open yeah, which up. Yeah, like again, that's what, 40 people? Could be, but it could be. No, no, I think he said that that would hold 40 people yeah. at the last meeting, and I don't think, uh, you know, to me that's a good size select board meeting, but depending on what the topics are, sometimes they get bigger than that. Mm. Mm. Okay. Not very often, but if you have to, you don't have to, you don't want to try to manipulate going to another building or finding another space. Now we have it available. So I, I, just, <coughs> I just wanted to circle back and remind remind ourselves what our what our challenge is here what our our goal is what we've been charged with yeah initially, and that's yeah. to get these everybody out of the, all these different mm -hmm. locations into one location all right under on budget and there and there's there's a lot of good one we're losing we're losing a building mm -hmm. um, the inconvenience of bouncing all around we want to get the you want to get the polling the town uh, the clerk wants to get the polling out of the the school the school so they can have a permanent setup where they're not there there's some cost saving just from them schlepping stuff around right yeah right not, not having rent in one selling the other one that's two buildings gone and everybody all together here where everybody can do work you know if they need this department or that department they don't shuffle and all who, over and, town and who knows what the what the economies of scale will be and the efficiencies with everybody in one spot right. Right. Yeah, less grounds for building maintenance. It's all, it's all there, you know. And like you said, just moving equipment around, the polling equipment is yeah. when it's all right there, and you just set it up and take over the gymnasium for it's labor. Election sure day stuff gets damaged when it yep. gets moved periodically. Mm. Yeah. And then once once they're in and everything's, then let them figure out what their their specific needs are. Each if department, it, if it, right? If it becomes, you know. Yeah, we do need to put up a little room over here for them. Mm -hmm. We'll figure it out once you get there. But right now, getting us in there under budget and getting it in, and in, in a timely manner, I think is we need to stay focused on that. Makes sense. And again, if something like that, if they can wait a little bit, maybe we can get Pathfinder to do it or something like that, where it's not yep. mm. the excessive costs of major construction right now. That's the only reason why I wanted to call them in. So. All right. I'll uh, talk to the architect, give him our thoughts, and hopefully Monday he can incorporate incorporate some of these thoughts for Monday night's meeting. Yeah. All right. It'd almost be fun if he could sit there because he is going to zoom in or whatever that he'd had his computer all set up that we could see that and he could mm. 
cut this out and put this here move this here to the, you know what i mean see oh, yeah. see how sure. i don't know if it's that efficient and that fast i, I don't understand why it wouldn't be but again <laughs> yeah and how those programs work exactly right. all right okay cool